Bam, what's goody? Jordan Baywood here. We are back with another tutorial. I'm so excited about this. This is episode three of a series where I'm breaking down a vocal mix in individual components on Logic Pro X. I'm gonna be doing this with different DAWs and different plugins in the future as different series, but we are on episode three and we're going to make the vocal consistent and sit on top of the beat. And we're gonna do that by really breaking down the compressor and really hearing the difference between understanding what a compressor is, understanding Understanding the threshold and certain components so that when you go mix vocals you're able to understand not just copy but you actually understand no matter what compressor you really open so this is a super fun video this is going to make your vocals powerful and consistent so other people can hear it across anything even if the bass is smacking if you're excited about this please smash that like button turn that thumbs up blue let's get to it let me get the keys to the car right straight to the top it's a vibe So we have a nice, rich vocal right now, and all we've done to it is some pitch correction, and we have this graphic EQ that is boosting the highs and controlling those lower mids and getting rid of the lows. We're going to go to plugin dynamics. You're gonna get your compressors and limiters there. It's controlling the dynamic of the audio. Just always remember that. This is a pretty scary plugin if you look at it first. Even sometimes it scares me. Once I understood this plugin, I was able to understand all compressors compressors really and I realized why use a different compressor what's the difference they have different tones they're gonna bring different harmonics into them they're gonna have different capabilities Let me get the keys to the car bring it straight to the top it's a vibe now up here, you're gonna see multiple different compressors. This is why I like Logic, because after we're done, like getting a general sound and a consistency where the vocal's sitting right on top of the beat where we like, we can try different tones of the compressor. Literally every song you do, you know, it could sound good with this vintage VCA, vintage Opto. So try them all after we're done getting a vibe. I like going to graph because I like seeing where the vocal is. You'll see a little circle right here, and that's generally where the vocal is. And then what I like doing is turning up the ratio. The ratio Ratio is how much compression you're gonna get. So the higher the ratio, the more it's gonna smash it all together. A lot of rap vocals, fast vocals, where it's really not about the dynamics like it would be with a singer on a piano beat. You want as natural as possible, right? So you would have less ratio there because it wouldn't take all the dynamics out of it. It still sound natural. But for rap and modern, you know, pop music, they're really smashing the vocal. There's no rules, but let's just slowly increase this till we start hearing something. Straight to the top, it's a vibe Ain't to worry about the clock Yeah, we can go, no stops Threshold and ratio and makeup gain is gonna be your three most important elements of understanding compression. So let's before this put on a level meter. I really like the um, level meter in here. And I like going to RMS. And it's gonna tell me the level at which it's at. Straight to the top. We know that level of the vocal is at negative 30. So what I always suggest doing is having your vocal around negative 20. So what we need to do is, all right, we see it's at negative 30. Um, we want it to be at negative 20. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna increase the gain by 10. We highlight that vocal, the gain right here. It's already at plus 10. We're gonna do 20. So that's just. Let me get the keys to the car. Bring it straight to the top. It's a vibe. Ain't too worried about the clock. Yeah, we can go, no stops. So now it's already sitting right in front of our face. If it's at negative 20, we're gonna start seeing a little bit of um, action here. Let me get the keys to the car. Bring it straight to the top. Yes. So what's happening now is it's compressing it, but it has auto gain on. Let's just turn that off right now because that's gonna confuse. We wanna know what the threshold is actually doing before these other you know, automatic plugins are happening. So let's have auto gain off and auto. Let me get the keys to the car. Bring it straight to the top. It's a vibe, ain't too worry about the clock Yeah, we can go, no stops, we can run. I love this graph because it's really showing you what it's doing You can see it's controlling it, it's bringing up some of the low points Too worry about the clock, yeah, we can go, no stops, we can so I really like that. So it's around negative 25. So it's really catching every part of the vocal. Cause remember the main part of the vocal is at negative 20. So we're bringing it around negative 25. So we're controlling the, the, the dynamics. Eee. 
of every syllable of every word. And I like the ratio of 8.7. It is a lot, but it sounds pretty good here. Now what I like doing is just turn on auto release because automatically releasing is how quickly the compression is going to release from each word that it's going. So when you have fast vocals, you know, sometimes it's fun to use a fast release so it goes in between each word. I like to have the auto feature on because it just automatically does it for you no matter what type of auto you have in there. Attack is fun because it's how quickly that compression is going to hit. Let's try zero and then let's really try 200 to see what it's actually doing. Straight to the top, it's a vibe. Ain't too worried about the clock. Yeah, we can go, no stops. We can ride all day. Yeah, we can ride all day. Yeah, let me get the keys to the car. Bring it straight to the top, it's a vibe. Ain't too worried about the clock. Yeah, we can go, no stops. We can ride all day. Honestly, I love this slow attack on this. Do you guys hear that? How it's kind of smoothing it out as well, but it's still staying beefy right in our face. This is why it's really good to experiment. Like, don't just only try the things that I'm telling you. Have fun with this. Maybe the way I teach may click some things in your head and maybe give you more confidence to work with the compressor and enough confidence to experiment with it. I'm telling you, I'm learning new things every single day by just experimenting and having fun. This is why I love engineering and producing and just making music and making art. So here we go. Let me get the keys to the car. Bring it straight to the top. It's a vibe. Ain't too so the knee is how smooth the compression is going to be. You see how if it's at zero, it has a very sharp thing right there. I like having it at one. I just love smooth sounds. So let's hear both. See if it's really even doing much. Let me get the keys to the car. Bring it straight to the top. Yeah. Ain't too bad. On the like the harsher knee, it may sound good on like you know drums, like snares and kick. But on vocals, I really tend to use around one, just so we can have that smooth sound. All right, so we're gonna uh, mess with the release to five milliseconds versus five thousand milliseconds. Let me get the keys to the car. Bring it straight to the top. It's a vibe. Ain't too worried about the clock. Yeah, we can go, no stops. seconds you know sometimes let's say you have a vocal that in some parts went way too loud just randomly maybe a syllable went like this and your right so vocals are like this right that's why an, a limiter is important because what's gonna happen is you can set a threshold for no vocal can go over negative 20 decibels or right here you it goes up to negative 10 so we can make it so that there's no loudness the highest point of a vocal will not go over a certain very it's like a wall setting a wall at the top so just to ensure that that nothing gets out of hand. We can turn that on and then just slowly move it down until it's kind of making it too low. Let me get the keys to the car. Bring it straight to the top. It's a vibe. When it blinks red, that's when it's like cutting some stuff off. You see how it like up there, that little two points were pretty high. We don't want to limit too much, but we just want to make sure that some of these really loud parts are getting limited. So um, everything's still staying consistent. Let me get the keys to the car. Bring it straight to the top. It's a vibe. Ain't too worried about the clock. Yeah, we can go, no stops. We can ride all day. Next, they have this distortion thing. This is gonna add harmonics to the compressor. I really think this is a very, very cool thing. So let's try this. Let me get the keys to the car. Bring it straight to the top. It's a vibe. Ain't too worried about the clock. Yeah, we can go, no stops. We can ride all day. Yeah, we can ride all day. Yeah. So for this vocal, I don't like any of them, so we're just gonna have that off. Also the mix knob, if we have it at zero, that means that the vocal has zero amount of this compressor working on it. Maybe you don't like that fully compressed sound, so you can dial this mix back and get less of the compressor working. So I think it's really cool. Let's try it. Let me get the keys to the car. Bring it straight to the top. It's a vibe. Ain't too worried about the clock. Yeah, we can go, no stops. We can ride all day. So I'm gonna leave the mix fully on. I think it sounds fine. Now the output gain. This is 
really where the magic is happening. If you have auto gain on, it's obviously going to boost it up automatically, but I like controlling the knob by myself. Or we can just move this knob, so the makeup knob. Not, let's not even worry about the output gain. Let's worry about the makeup. And I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to bring it a little bit down. Let me get the keys to the car. Bring it straight to the top. It's a Remember, gain is another word for, you know, loudness. How loud do you want it to be? Let me get the keys to the car. Bring it straight to the top. It's a vibe. Ain't too worried about the clock. Yeah, we really know no stops. We can ride all day. Having a vocal right inside the middle of the mix on top of the beat. After a compressor, especially since we're in stereo, we can quickly put a imager directional mixer on. Just so we have it in mono. Let me get the keys to the car. Bring it straight to the top. Just so it's nice and tight in there. Let me get the keys to the car. Bring it straight to the top. It's a vibe. Ain't too worried about the clock. Yeah, we can go no stops. We can ride all day. And since the compressor is bringing up the lows and bringing down the highs and kind of squeezing it together to make it a consistent thing, I like to add a noise gate in there. So you can go into dynamics, noise gate. If you're recording in a bedroom or an untreated room, you're going to have a little bit of ground noise at the bottom around negative 50 dBs or under. Um, that's just going to cut it all out. So all you have to really mess with is this threshold knob. Like we talked about, most of the main vocals are sitting at negative 20. So I guarantee if we put it above negative 20, it's going to cut out some of the words. Let me get the keys to the car. See how it's closing right there? Check this out. Let's see if there's day. you hear that sound? Day. Yeah. Ooh, that's a scary sound. So we turn that on. Day. Yeah. Woo, baby, we're on to something. We got nice consistent vocals sitting right on top. Let me get the keys to the car. Bring it straight to the top. It's a vibe. Too we're gonna turn that uh noise gate down just a little bit. I hear it um taking out a little too much. Bring it down to negative 40. But that compressor, I still want the vocals to be a little, just a little bit lower. I think that would be perfect. And then maybe when we add effects in the later videos and mix harmonies, we might want to bring the vocals back up because we're draining them in effects. As we go through this process, we'll probably go back and tweak a few knobs, but that's the fun part about mixing, I think. Let me get the keys to the car. Bring it straight to the top. It's a vibe. Ain't too worried about the clock. Yeah, we know no stops. Loving that. Uh, the next video, what we're gonna start doing, I think we're gonna bust out some reverb. Um, we're gonna try different vocal effects. I like the consistency. I like the richness of the high end. The low ends are controlled. We have a noise gate um, and we have a lot of good stuff going on right now. In the next video, we'll do some vocal effects and have fun with that. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please smash that like button or that thumbs up button and turn it into an Betty. And if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button if you're into learning about vocal mixing or vocal mastering. We post consistently on this channel and we're here to help. So if you have any questions at all, please comment them down below and let me know what is your favorite compressor and any other DAWs that you would like me to do breakdown of mixes. Let me know down below. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.